I am half Mexican and half Native American. I'm from the Cherokee Lumpee tribe. Um, I'm from Rosebud Reservation, so Sechango Lupata. Um, Plains natives are also widely known as Sioux. My tribal affiliation is towards the Little Shivers Bay Bands without Indians. My oldest brother, he's the one that does not like the holiday whatsoever. He eats the food. But it feels like a history class every Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. He's always spitting out bags and like, remember this? Like, don't you know? And I try to listen because I'm like, I know you're right. We generally do celebrate Thanksgiving, but we don't look at it as Thanksgiving and like the term that everyone else uses before, you know, the pilgrims and the Native Americans, you know. Um, we use it as a day of thanks, but it's like any other day. We are thankful every day for our family and for what we have. And it's just an excuse to eat a lot of food. You know this Thanksgiving Day as the like basically the brutal murder, murders and disease that was given to our people uh, many years ago, and like we're making our own meaning out of it. My family does did incorporate some traditional foods into it, and so a feast is like fry bread, and then you get wojapi is what we call it. It's uh, very common. Since I did grow up half Mexican and my mom's family is always around me, I like I have like the Native American like influence, but a lot of like Mexican influences. So like I don't know, there's always like rice and beans and stuff. I don't think it's necessarily wrong. I would say like in schools more if they could like say like what this holiday is actually about. We learned about the storybook Thanksgiving, like well the pilgrims came, we're all friends. Like, no, nobody knows the background of like, any of that, and I wish that like, people would know. So I see Thanksgiving well, itself, the tradition itself, as it's great to be thankful for your family. But I don't agree with the actions that, it's, that has happened to get to here. And then general misinformation on natives and what they did and what happened after that, after they landed. I see a lot of symbolism within Thanksgiving. So a lot of it's still taught in elementary schools, you see. Um, young children on foam hats and, you know, big giant feather headdresses. That's not okay. It's it's very dehumanizing to see Native peoples as a mascot. Just, I would like people to know what happened in order for them to have Thanksgiving and to have that turkey on their table. So just, you know, just be informed. No facts, for sure. <laughs> It'd be great if people actually learn a little bit about this history and like the both sides because there is a second side to every story and this one's kind of gruesome but like as long as you, like, you are respecting the people that were there before you and the animals and the plants that were there before you and if you bring that into the whole aspect of thanksgiving then that respect factor is all you really